I was on the streets just for so long. This is my chance. The living conditions in the encampments in the area known as Mass and Cass as deplorable as ever before. The humanitarian crisis at Mass Ave and Melnia Cass Boulevard, an area dealing with homelessness and addiction. I have been spending time at Mass and Cass for years. It's just this concentration of people with substance use disorder, people experiencing homelessness. And in recent years, I think exacerbated by the pandemic, there has been this growing encampment area there. There were complaints from residents, there were complaints from neighborhood associations. I mean, these tents were seen as kind of a, a blight to the neighborhood. What I've been trying to figure out is what happens to the people who are largely forgotten about. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. I'm doing good, yeah. I met Heidi in November. We started talking about her life. She grew up in Weymouth and she was just kind of like a regular kid. She says that the opioid crisis where opiates were so available had such a huge impact. So what happened that led you out here? Um, I got addicted to OCs. Oh yeah, <laughs> my first boyfriend, my high school sweetheart um, also. Um, you know, when OCs became very big, um, and we switched over to like the first time I ever sniffed heroin. Um, I was in Weymouth. I was 20, I want to say it was like 22. And um, when I woke up, he, <laughs> Jay, was, he was dead. Since then, she struggled with drinking, alcohol and substance abuse throughout her life. I wasn't mentally stable. I was, you know, admitted to a few psych units. I wasn't capable of taking care of my daughter, and uh, my mother told me to leave the house. She's been experiencing homelessness for about 10 to 15 years. I've been in and out of like shelters, but programs, and um, I always end up back out here. There have been multiple efforts by municipal like city administrations to try to clear the tents out and provide alternatives for people. Now let's be the first major city to come together as a community and end chronic homelessness for good. To be clear, tents are not appropriate for housing. Mayor Michelle Wu did yet another street cleaning in January. The city working with our state and provider partners have brought online new low threshold housing and shelter beds to meet the housing and public health needs of residents formerly living in the encampments. The city had said that they would move people out of tents and get people into transitional housing. They fulfilled that promise for some people, but we can't look at all these people who moved into housing and be like, oh great, it's over, homelessness is solved, right? Because this is just the beginning. Right. Hi. Hi. How, how are you? Doing? How are you? Sorry. It's okay. Do you, do you mind just giving me the pour? So on this episode of Cribs, um, this is the poor life. No, <laughs> no, but very grateful. Yeah. So um, they came with a wall mirror. I am still cleaning my mop sponge because I don't like sponges for mops. I don't know those things. And then uh, yeah. So we have to be part of my mother. Um, you know, hook me up with the shower curtain and all that other stuff. That's awesome. So, I mean, from where you probably saw me first. So, Heidi has been now moved into a temporary apartment nearby. Show me your view. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, so, um, I'm going to the heights. But, like, yeah, isn't that great? If you don't look straight down. <laughs> So you started detox, or would that be like an inpatient thing? It's gonna be an inpatient thing. I honestly am trying, and it's just, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not getting, obviously I'm not gonna lay s or anything. I'm just like maintaining, you know, I'm ready for it, and um, I think the next step. She has three children, and so that was the first thing she talked about was her daughters and how she really, really just wanted to see them and be a mom to them. My oldest, she's 14. 
Mackenzie's nine, and then Lara is like a little over two years. That's my sister. This is my mother, Lara. So I named the only little one Lara Jean, and my mother's name's Lara Jean. She's still trying to get herself out of these like entanglements from that past life. And so it's a process. I want to have a chance to reverse everything wrong. It's not, it's not so easy. It's harder on the street, but it's hard in here too.